Welcome back to the channel, everyone, and thank you again, as always, for joining me and my Lucky Charm Chunk at you. Uh, I have a lot of information to, to share with you today, and as you can see, there's kind of a bit of a change up of my display here because I've done a, I've had, had a couple of movements, uh, and so I'll talk about that and talk about all the things I've been up to uh, here in the last uh, month or so. I haven't been really going into Crown Zenith too big. Uh, just picking up a couple packs here and there uh, because I've been saving up my money for a couple of uh, big things I was going to do. Uh, the first off, I sent a bunch of cards into PSA uh, to be graded. Um, and this was early or late in uh, January where I sent them out. So it'll be a couple of months before I get them back. So a lot of the cards that I usually have on display here, um, my uh, Charizard Brazen, uh, my uh, Evolutions Charizard that I uh, pulled out of that three-pack dollar store uh, pack. Um, and just some celebrations that I wanted to see if I can get some uh, tins on. Uh, and, you know, uh, just the, uh, the the Charizard promos that I got from the uh, Charizard Ultra Premium Collection. So just a, kind of a, a wide range of things. Uh, so I'm sending in about 20 cards on that. So I'll be looking forward towards a video to to see what I can pull off of those. And I've also uh, just got back today from uh, a card show that was hold, held in my state. And I was able to, I've been saving up my money, you know, not going really big on Crown Zenith because I knew this is something I wanted to do, go to a good card show and get things that I needed. Uh, and so I went to this uh, card show and picked up quite a bit of things, and I'm going to show those to you um, as I finish off going through these uh, TCG cards. Uh, and a lot of the things that I got, I got some of the things I needed. I had a, had a list going in on the things that I wanted to get uh, and the things that I would uh, would like to get. And, uh, and I had a budget for myself and I wanted to say, Hey, this is how much I'm going to spend. And I'm, I'm really glad that I was able to stay within that budget. Uh, and it was really hard to do that because there's so much stuff that I wanted to, I wanted to get, especially when I started to, uh, want to get some, um, uh, some slabs, but I've only picked up a couple of those. My big thing that I got in the big, uh, money things was some ETBs that I was trying to get and uh, finishing up my celebrations uh, collection. There's some cards that I needed, not for myself, but I was working on a second set for a surprise. And also, you know, I'll, I'll show you here in a second, but let's start off. Uh, in the background, you can see it. I usually have my uh, Evolving Skies ETBs there, but the first, one of the things I did manage to pick up were the uh, Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Boxes. And I had tried uh, to pre-order these because I was able to get the uh, Chilling Rain ones, no problem at all. But Evolving Skies was crazy to try and get those. Um, I they sold out in then within hours, and then they did a uh, they did a resale uh, a couple of weeks later, and then those were gone within hours too. There was uh, the website was just bogged down, so I was able to pick those up. Those were I got those just a little bit above. Uh, what the price is, but hey, that's something that I really wanted. Now I've got every one of the uh, Pokemon Center Elite Trainer boxes so far. Uh, more Elite Trainer boxes that I picked up. I got a Champion's Path. I picked this up for hundred dollars, so this is another one that I needed. Uh, the only one that I need now is uh, the Rebel Clash, and that is pretty much impossible to find. So I'm going to keep my eyes open for that one. And I'm going to go ahead and set this one up here on my, my wall of Elite Trainer boxes. Uh, the next thing I was able to pick up, and this was right at, um, I, I picked this up at $330. This is the Celebrations Ultra Premium Collection. And I have this for right now in two older uh, Elite Trainer box uh, case protectors until I can get me something really good to protect this in. So this completes my sealed collection for celebration. I have everything that I want for that. And uh, I'm also going to show you here in a little bit the cards that I was able to pick up for celebration. So I'm very excited about that. Very happy. Uh, picked that up. 
And another thing I picked up because I've wanted to have one sealed for my collection, I do not plan on breaking this open, is an Evolving Skies booster box. And I have an extra uh, little case and I want to keep this in this one to protect it instead of the one I have my uh, Battle Styles booster box in. This uh, should keep it a little bit safer than the little box I have until maybe I can find something a little bit better for it. But I like this for now. So that is going to have to work. All right. So I talked about sending some stuff into uh, PSA because uh, that's, you know, kind of the thing I want to do. The next thing I wanted to do was send in. I want to get the complete set of the Evolving Skies full art B cards. And these are the ones that I had pulled. I pulled Vaporeon, Leafeon, and Espeon. So I've had these before. So that was kind of what I was looking for at the card show was to get the rest of the Evolutions. Uh, so I'll go ahead and show you what I, I was able to pick uh, some things up at that card show. First, something not Pokemon related. I was able to pick up some uh, some football cards for my sister. I'm going to put this together in a little thing. Uh, I've got a signed Emmett Smith card, signed Troy Aikman, and I have uh, the Pinnacle uh, Scoring Core set that I'm going to put this all together in a little uh, a little thing uh, because she's a huge, she's a big Cow Cowboys fan, and I always like to give her heck about it. Uh, so I'm going to put this together and something say something like, "Oh, this is the year," because if you know a Cowboys fan, you know that's one of their favorite phrases. Uh, so I'm going to put that together for her, maybe get that. Uh, I may want to try and see if I can get the autographs authenticated, but I'll think about that here for the future. Uh, so some cards that I was able to pick up. Now, if you know, if you've ever watched any of my shorts, you know I have uh, shorts that are called In the Hunt, and this is one of the cards I was in the hunt for. The Mewtwo and Mew GX. I just went ahead and uh, bit the bullet on this. I got it for uh, 20 and so that's a pretty good, pretty good deal on there. Right, so I'm really happy with this. Now, when I get, before we start looking at the next ones, I talked about the uh, full art Vs. Uh, I want to get them together in like a little set, uh, you know, put them together. So I figured full art Vs, but I need an Eevee. So I picked up two cards that I want to put together with those Evolutions. The first one is the, uh, it, this is the Eevee promo from the Pikachu and Eevee GX box. And I really love this Eevee. It's hilarious. I think it's really fun. Uh, I'm going to put that together with the other Evolutions, And I also picked up another promo, the Eevee uh, GX, uh, just the regular Eevee. And I like this uh, this look, and I think it'll be good with the rest of them. All right, so I did. I picked up the Flareon. I've got a Glaceon, Jolteon, Sylveon. Now, the last one was Umbreon, and this one was uh, one that I had to pay. You know, And I got all of these right at price the only one that i got a little bit cheaper uh was the sylveon i got it uh less than what the what they're going for right now but every other one they were just right at the price uh so i'm going to go ahead and keep these aside and hopefully i got some if i pick up some more evolutions here in the or evolving skies in a little bit i'll i want to send those in instead of maybe the ones that i was able to take i've also got some some picked up some other cards i was looking around and I had planned to find some Hidden Fates, so I did get a Leafeon GX from Hidden Fates. I really love uh, the shiny uh, vault that they have there, and I also picked up the uh, Glaceon GX, uh, as well as picking up things that I wanted. There's some things I needed for a set that I'm putting together for a surprise. I needed a Shining Magikarp, and I got this for $10, which is 10 low. Uh, less than what I paid, you know, what it's going for right now. I got an Umbreon, and this, I traded for this. I traded a uh, the the Celebrations Mew uh, uh, because I have like five or six of them, and I took one. I was like, hey, I know I'm losing a little bit off this, but I really need an Umbreon here. So I got an Umbreon, Dawn Fan Prime, the Xerneas, and this Last one, the Mega Rayquaza EX was the one I was searching forever to find it. And I barely got it uh, at around, I think it was about 8.30 last night I was able to find it. So I was, I went Friday morning and I started Friday morning going in looking for the rest of Celebrations and all of these, the evolutions that I needed. Uh, and 
I was able to, throughout those two days, pick up the first four. And the last, my last two hours there, I was able to finally find this Jolteon and uh, that Mega Rayquaza EX. So it was down to the wire looking uh, for those cards, right? So there's the cards that I pulled, that I picked up. And there are also some slabs that I was able to get. And some of these, uh, I, these are just ones, the cards that I really, really like. Uh, I really want to have these in collections in, in tens. Uh, the card that I really want to have is the uh, Shining Legends Secret Mewtwo, the Mewtube. Uh, but, you know, that one, there was nothing there for that one. So the first one I picked up is uh, I got the Hidden Fates Moltres Zapdos Articuno uh, GX Secret uh, Rainbow Rare. And I want to get all of the cards there. There's the uh, there's the non-rainbow uh, full art. Then there's the just the regular one. Uh, so this is going to be sitting in the background. And I got the promo card for Hidden Fates because I love this look. It's it's such a great card. And both of these cards were pretty cheap, cheaper than what uh, they're normally going for. So I was really happy to pick these up. And, you know, it's just cards that I really enjoy. I, I love the look of these cards. And I also was able to pick up some, some cards that are my favorite Pokemon. So I got another promo card. I got the Mew and Mewtwo GX. Uh, and this is a beautiful card because I love, you know, like I said earlier, I was in the hunt uh, in Unified Minds for Mew and Mewtwo. But this is that promo card, and I think it's really beautiful. I love it. It's going to stay up here in the front of my collection. And I have a few more cards here. Let's see what we got. Yes, I have the Mewtwo GX from Hidden Fates, the shiny Mewtwo, and it looks so beautiful. Uh, this was a, a right at price for these, so I was able to get this one. Uh, it's pretty good, So, and it's just a card that I really, I really like because I'm a big fan of Mewtwo, and this one's going to go right up here in the front. And I got a deal. I uh, got about... I got this just below if I was able to, if I bought the another card with it. So I did. And I got the Espeon GX from Hidden Fates. And this card looks beautiful as well. The shiny Espeon there looking good. So those cards are going to be sitting in the background. Hopefully that's just the start of the slabs that I'm going to be getting. And I'm really happy to add those to my collection uh, and, and hopefully I can share with you my PSA returns whenever they get in. Uh, but let's get to the opening. And, and like I said, I got these Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Boxes now. I'm going to open the Elite Trainer Boxes that were in its place. Now, these are the first run of these. So hopefully these are better, um, got a better pull rates and see what I can get. I'm still missing uh, the alternate arts. Definitely the uh, Moombri on there. That would be... The, the most amazing thing to get. Uh, so I'm looking at that, and let's just do a little battle here and see which um, art will be uh, the better one here. I'm hoping it's the Umbreon one, because I love Umbreon here. Okay, here's that code card for you. Let's go ahead and get the rest of this out of here and just open these packs up. Hopefully we get a little bit of luck. Come on, chunk of chew. Give me some of that luck. And these have been... Uh, like I said, this is the first print run. I picked up these the original Elite Trainer boxes. So let's see. Hopefully that means it's good luck here. And we get some good pulls in here. There you go. All right. So there's a lot of alternate arts and full arts that I need. And nothing out of this pack. Uh, I'm pretty good with the... Uh, there's still some VMAXs that I need for the set. I know I need uh, the Leafeon. I need the Leafeon V and the VMAX. So hopefully I can get some more stuff out of here. Uh, I've also been picking up some... There have been some other... A uh, couple of times in the last uh, month. There's been a couple of Evolving Skies Elite Trainer Boxes uh at my local walmart so i picked those up and i haven't gotten anything out of them so that's why i'm hoping these uh first print runs will have something in them uh because the newer ones i have not gotten anything out of so there's reg drago for me all right here we go let's keep going come on chunk of chew give me some of that magic 
Right. All right, there we go. Code card. All right, let's see if we can do something good here. I would do alternate arts. Those would be so amazing to pull here. All right, so we are right about halfway through here. This is halfway point. Let's see if we can get something good here. It's been a really big uh, whammy so far. Let's see if we can get a good pull. I keep putting them upside down. All right. And it doesn't look like there's anything in this one because I didn't see anything. But could surprise you here. Nothing. All right, here we go. Halfway through. We haven't got a hit yet. Come on, chunk of chew. Give me some of that luck. I need some luck on some hits. I was also also picked up some four packs of Champions Path at a pretty good price, uh, but I didn't get anything good out of it. Uh, I broke them when I was, you know, uh, at the uh, the card show, but didn't get anything good out of there. Let's see if I can get something good out of this uh, Elite Trainer box. Here we go. More Psyduck, Eevee. Eevee, that's a good sign. Come on, Eevee. Give me some of that luck, too. All right. I already have the reverse one. I need the regular uh, non-hollow rare for that one. Okay, come on, Chunk and Chew. Three more packs remaining. Give me some luck. All right. Keep throwing it away. Let's see what we got here. Anything good. Come on. Give me something good. Evolution. Give me an evolution. Nothing. All right. We got two more packs remaining. And this Elite Trainer box has been a dud so far. Let's see what we got. Come on. We may get something here. Let's see. We got something here, I think. Let's see what we got here. Come on. Come on, Chunk and Chew. Give me something good. Oh, it's an Espeon V, and I already have that card. Man. That's oh, that's too bad. Let's go ahead and put you in a sleeve. We got something right here. Where are they at? That is a there we go. So one hit so far. It's a V card. Hopefully we can get something here. Last pack magic for this Umbreon Elite Trainer box. Come on. This one's a little funky here. Let's see what we got. Come on, Chunk and Chew. Give me some luck here. Maybe something here. I think I saw something. All right. Oh, I forgot to throw away that energy. Let's see. Come on. Give me something good. And, oh, nothing here. So, this one was pretty much a dud. We've got an Espeon V. So, the... Uh, Umbreon uh, pack, the uh, Elite Trainer box was a dud. So let's go ahead and see if we can get the Espeon. I'm going to name them those because those are the two of my favorite uh, evolutions there. Those are the two favorite ones. Right. Right, here we go. Let's see what we can do put that back in there and then let's go ahead and get some of the some of the trash in here get rid of the trash we only have one hit so far and it hasn't been a great one hopefully we can get a little bit more from this neck 
this next Elite Trainer box uh, because I haven't been doing too good here. Evolving Skies has really been, uh, really been, I've really been having some bad luck. Uh, all the ETBs that I've, you know, the couple, like I said, I've been getting haven't been too great either. All right, so let's go ahead and put this away. Okay. All right, let's see if we can do better with this second Elite Trainer box. Here we go. Come on, chunk of chew. Give me one of those hits right about now. And these are some different cards, different than the last Elite Trainer box. Keep it going. Come on, give me something good. And I bought it. Non hollow rare. Come on, let's go. I do that every time. Every time. All right, Braviary, Nuzleaf, Leaf, Skip Bloom, Swablu, Lit Leo, Chin Chow. We've got a Dano, uh, Punkaboo, Trainer, Rubber Gloves. And a Regidrago. Now, that's one that I didn't have until um, I opened the... It was the uh, uh, Crown Zenith uh, pack. And this had the uh, Evolving Skies Regidrago. And, you know, I've gotten three of them so far opening this. And that's the first time, I, uh, you know, I've ever pulled them from a pack. I, I, the only reason I really have one is because it's from the Crown Zenith set. Uh, so, that's pretty interesting. All right, here we go. Keep turning it upside down. All right, let's see what we got. Hopefully we can get something good. Come on, let's get some good luck here. Scrafty, Ursaring, Pet Lil, Urgemite, Drowsy, Scraggy, Vagon. We've got a Wobbuffet and yes! Oh, look at that beautiful card. Umbreon V. I love that. I may be sending that in as well. Let's go ahead and get you a sleeve. Get you a good one here. That is a beautiful card. Excellent pull. So that's uh that's just it. The Espeon pack art is the winner. There we go. That is a good hit. We just barely got into it. There we go. Excellent work. Great job. Thank you very much, Chunk at you here. Finally getting me that luck coming through. Beautiful card. I'm excited about that one. Let's take a look at it right quick. Take a look at that back and see how it how it looks here. Sending one looks okay. Got a little bit of whitening on the edges, but that's okay. That's a good, beautiful looking card here. Let's see if we can get something else. I love that card. Now I'm just going to be a little bit of a, a a little bit greedy here. See if we can get something else in here. But if we don't get anything else, that's fine because we've got some real we got a really good pull there. That is excellent work there. Wouldn't say no to another good pull, but I am really happy with that one. I'm glad I opened up that Elite Trainer box. So hopefully I can find that Moonbrion. That's the one. Man, that's just I saw a couple of them. Uh, at the card show, there was one that was for sale, five fifty. Whew, that was way out of my price range. Uh, there, and especially there were some graded ones. Uh, uh, Beckett nine point five. It was going for like uh, twelve fifty, I think. Man, that is crazy. But I would just like to have one for myself. Let's see if we can get some more hits. All right, come on. Got three more packs remaining. Come on, Chunk of Chew, give me something good. Give me another hit. Give me one more hit in this break. All right. There we go. All right, we've got... Here we go, come on. Give me something good, something good. All right, two more, two more packs remaining. Come on, chunk of chew. 
You haven't let me down so far. Give me something. Give me something good. Oh, that one just ripped right open. I didn't even have to didn't even have to do anything with that. All right. Oh, okay. All right, and all right, we got Vigoroth. Red, okay, let's see Lillipop. Bagon, Lit Leo. Got a Lotad. Teddy Ursa. Got a Thievil and Oh, a Rayquaza V Max. All right, that's pretty good. That's a hit. That is a hit. I mean, I'm pretty sure I already have one, but hey, that's a good looking card. I wouldn't mind having uh, one of the uh, uh, Rayquazas, the secret alt arts. That would be amazing too. But let's see what we get next. Come on. Get something good here. Something good. One more hit. One more hit. And I don't think I got anything here. All right, let's see what we got. Anything good? Come on. All right, so that is the end of that Elite Trainer box. Uh, looks like I got a, the like I said, it was the Espeon Elite Trainer box. I was able to pull that Umbreon V. Oh, the art alternate artwork, man, that looks so beautiful. I love that. Look, I love how the eyes shine right there. Really nice. I got another Rayquaza V Max. So, all in all, not too bad. I'm glad I opened those because I really needed this Umbreon V, and I'm gonna be uh, holding on to that. Maybe making it, uh, its appearance here up front. But there we go. Uh, so, thank you very much for uh, you know staying tuned and watching. Uh, my update. Hopefully, I can start making a couple more updates here, here and there. Uh, maybe I can get some more evolving skies and try to open that up. Uh, but thank you very much for for sticking tuned with me. Uh, but until next time, I'll see you in the next one.